Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of y squared cos y cubed dy. So we have here integrals of hyperbolic functions. So here are the formula that we must follow when evaluating integrals of hyperbolic functions. So you just need to memorize them. So for this problem, let's use first u substitution. So if we let u be equal to y cube, getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u is du. Derivative of y cube is 3 y square, applying power rule. Then don't forget the dy. So notice we have created this y squared dy term on the original integral. We just get an extra coefficient of 3, which we don't need. So I'll get rid of that by dividing both sides by 3. So I will have du over 3 equal to canceling out the 3 y squared dy. Let's now substitute on the original integral. So we will have the integral of cos y cubed, which is now equal to u. And then this y squared dy equal now to du over 3. So this over 3 or fraction is just a constant. So you can just put it in front of the integral. So I will have one third integral of cos u du. So we will have one third times evaluating the integral of cos u du looking at the formula. Integral of cos u du is equal to sin u plus c. So therefore, the answer is one third sin u plus c. And don't forget to transform back the u in terms of the original variable, u is equal to y cubed. So the final answer should be one third sin of y cubed plus c. For number 2, we have the integral of ln x sinh of ln x squared over x dx. Okay, so let's apply u substitution first. So let u be equal to ln x quantity squared. Getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u is du. Derivative of ln x quantity squared, so we can apply chain rule. So let's use power rule first. So bring down the exponent of 2. Then copy the same base ln x. Then raise 2. Subtract 1 from the original exponent 2. So 2 minus 1. That's 1. So we just have simply ln x. Then by chain rule, let's multiply it by the derivative of the inside. Derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Then don't forget the dx. So notice that we have created this ln x dx over x term here but we just got an extra coefficient of 2 let's get rid of that first by dividing both sides by 2 so we will have du over 2 is equal to canceling out the 2 ln x over x dx if we substitute the original integral we will have the integral of so let's start with the sinh and then this ln x quantity squared, which is now equal to u. And then finally, this ln x dx over x is now equal to du over 2. So this over 2 or a fraction of 1 half is just a constant. Let's just put in front of the integral first. So we will have 1 half integral of sin u du. So it's equal to 1 half times evaluating the integral of sin u du looking at the formula. The integral of sin u du is equal to cos u plus c. So therefore, we will have 1 half times cos u plus c transforming back the u in terms of the original variable x. So u is equal to ln x quantity squared. So the final answer should be 1 half cos of ln x quantity squared plus c. For number 3, we have the integral of such x plus 2 tanh x quantity squared dx. So let's expand first the square of the binomial. So applying the shortcut, we will have the integral of, so we need to square the first term. So we have such squared x plus 
the product of the first and the second, so we have such x times 2 tanj x. Then, we still need to multiply them by 2. Then, plus the square of the second term, 2 tanj x quantity squared dx. Simplifying further, we will have the integral of set squared x plus, let's multiply 2 times set x times 2 tanj x. That will be 4 set x tanj x. And then 2 tanj x quantity squared, that will be positive 4 tanj squared x, then dx. So notice here, for the set squared x, we already have a formula for that. Integral of set squared u du is tan u. Then for 4 set x tan x, we also have a formula for that already. So the integral of set u tan u du is negative set u plus c. But for this 4, tan squared x, we don't have yet a formula for that. So to evaluate this integral, let's apply identities for hyperbolic functions. So we can apply the Pythagorean identities. So let's copy first set squared x plus 4 set x tan x and then plus 4 times. So this tan squared x is equivalent to in terms of set squared x, that will be 1 minus set squared x and then dx. So let's just distribute this 4 first. So we will have the integral of set squared x plus 4 set x tan x plus distributing the 4. We have 4 times 1 is 4. Then 4 times negative set squared x, that will be negative 4 set squared x dx and then notice that we can combine this set squared x minus 4 set squared x so that's equal to negative 3 set squared x then plus 4 set x tan x and then plus 4 okay distributing the integral together with the dx so we can integrate term by term so we will have the integral of Negative 3 set squared x. So this negative 3 is constant. I can just put in front of the integral. So I will have negative 3 integral of set squared x dx plus the integral of for 4 set x tan x. Again, this 4 is constant. I can just put in front of the integral. So I have 4 integral of set x tan x plus the integral of for dx, by the way, this 4 is just constant. I can just put in front of the integral as well. So I will have plus 4 integral of dx. Evaluating now each integral. So we have negative 3 times integral of set squared x dx. Again, by the, by the formula, it's equal to tan x. So we have negative 3 tan x plus 4 integral of set x tan x dx. So using the formula, it's equal to negative set x. And then plus 4 times integral of dx, which is x. Then don't forget the plus c. So finally, we will have negative 3 tan x. 4 times negative set x, that will be negative 4 set x. Then plus 4x plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.